Hi guys, welcome to Game Talk. Ajax, Young Boys, 3-0, Papimento, total domination. My brother, we won 3-0, man. So happy. I'm, uh, yeah, I mean, we could have won this with so much more goals. But um, yeah, Ajax is just strong. And uh, to be honest, they couldn't do much against us. How surprised were you by by how we played today? And and I mean, it's the first time we saw, of course, we play against young boys. I haven't seen them play before. I don't know about you. And then we play against them. You're reading the media. You're reading uh, Peter Boss talking about them. You're reading other analysts talking about them. You're like, oh, we have to be careful. They 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 uh, eliminated the uh, Bayer Leverkusen. So let's see how this is, you know. And then today, honestly, I mean, of course, I'm not downgrading how good they can be because they're top of their league, you know, and uh, by a large margin in Switzerland. But I thought Ajax today was not one or two or three, but much better. I mean, in terms of grades, Ajax is much better than Young Boys. Yeah, I think at Ajax, everybody played uh, a decent game at least or a very good game. So it's also credit to Ajax because, you know, they didn't have a chance. And I must say, even for Ajax playing so well it stayed zero zero very long so i do understand their their strengths and 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 you know their counter attack methods but um ix was just too strong everybody was focused no mistakes they only had one chance man so that says enough and yeah i mean we also watch uh, Bayer leverkusen so we love boss so we watch what he does with with his team uh, we all know the system he plays, very attacking usually. So, uh, and they weren't really in form. I mean, they lost a lot of points. They were number one in the league. And then they, they went in a bad rut. And now they're fourth or something. So, yeah, it could be also the form of the day and not really like the quality that Leverkusen has. Because if you see the dominance from Ajax, I can't imagine Leverkusen being much worse. Yeah, so no, Leverkusen, I think, is number fifth in the league now, but uh, it's not important. Yeah. Um, but you got my point, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course, of course. Uh, look, um, 3-0 is a, is a brilliant result in the first leg at home, a clean sheet. So you could say, I'm not going to jinx it, of course, but you could say that this we cannot give this away anymore. I mean, we're almost there. It's like 80%, 90%. Giving it away? What what game did you watch? Uh they didn't even have chances. I don't. I don't see Ajax giving this away, even if it's away. And also, um, and also, I think we're too mature as well as a team. We and have we have to... depth, man. We had de there are double positions everywhere, so everybody can play anywhere, depending on who's the fittest. You know, uh, I'm not going to criticize uh, Ten Hag for his substitutions because he did a lot well today. But even his substitutions, you can you can argue different aspects of who you want in or not but i mean the result speaks for itself right yeah so listen before we talk about the substitutions just uh, about the lineup is that what mm -hmm. you expected i think you tweeted about this earlier th uh, this week that you were expecting this kind of lineup yeah i, I mean we watch uh, all the interviews right so uh, based on uh, ten Hag's interview you could already deduct what what he wanted to do not much um, and i already knew he was not going to play kudus why? But he, him not playing Kudus at all is weird to me. Um, it, it, we were talking about it like during the match, right? This is a really a match where Kudus could shine. Well, uh, I thought, but look, maybe I he's thought, not look, really sure with his knee yet. You know, it's yeah, but look, game. yeah, I, I understand that. I understand the thing with the knee, you know, and you have to be careful with him. Uh, I totally agree. Uh, and I think at the end, you know, because we won three 0 we didn't really need him. So the winning coach is always right. I just thought that in in the second half, the last twenty minutes. The, the spaces between the players at Young Boys became larger. And um, I think also Ten Hag mentioned it after the game, and I totally agree with him what he said. The players were tired. The, the, the Young Boys players could not, could not uh, play the same as the first half, you know, keeping things tight. They were just, yeah, play, basically outplayed because they were running the whole game. So uh, in, in hindsight, I think, okay, he did well. Um, let Kudus shine a little bit in the Eredivisie. I think there is still a lot for him to come. Um, I mean, again, I mean, we're going to quarterfinals maybe of the Europa League, so he can still come, you know, in the picture at a later stage. No, I know, I know. Look, uh, I'm not going to question that. I'm just seeing, though, that a Broby that he doesn't even have a contract at Ajax comes in before Kudus. 
Well, okay, fine, doesn't, but he doesn't. He does have a contract with Ajax, but it's it's not going to be extended. He's not going to. Yeah. So for me, you know, already he's not going to extend his contract. So what? You're giving him a higher bonus fee when he signs with someone else. Uh, for me, uh, Anthony going out was weird. We were looking at each other. Even you said it. Weird. No, but, why? No, but, why would you take Anthony out now? Um, it. I don't know. It wasn't the right substitutes, but I do think he had it right how he started. But and, Pimento, Pimento uh, you're being too critical now, and we're talking about the wrong things, in my opinion. We won 3 0. We have to be positive. Yeah, yeah, yeah of I course. Know, I know that there are some things you don't agree with, but in general, this is a very, very good night, a very solid performance. I mean, you cannot even dream of having a better, better uh, uh, scoreline than this in the first leg at home. I agree, man. Yeah. So I want to ask you something. Um, uh, a slightly different topic. You touched upon it a little bit. You said we have a lot of, a lot of depth in the squad. Um, yeah. I also noticed today, I don't know if you saw that as well, I also noticed today a lot of uh, shifting. The, the, the team is evolving in such a way that you see players also taking each other's role. There is a lot of, uh, there is a lot of players that can play or take over another player's position. It's becoming very dynamic. Uh, one of the best examples I have is, I think, Alvarez most of the time was playing in front of the center backs. But then you saw, uh, I saw, I think, Gravenberg playing there, and then Alvarez playing at the back. And then I also saw Rensch playing that uh, during the first half, you know? And up front, also, you see Tadic going to the left, Tadic going to the right, you see Neres coming in the striker position. I mean, you see so many different things. I think if we, if we still evolve and improve this, it's so hard to play against us. Yeah, I, I told you this before the match, uh, or during the match even. Like I have never seen Ajax grow so much during um, during one season. It's it's crazy. Like if you compare this to the beginning of the season and now, huge difference in uh, in uh, how we grew and what kind of team we have now. And it's really gelling now, uh, well with each other. Everybody's understanding their position. I mean, just look at example, my man of the match. You know, Alvarez. The first couple of matches in the beginning of the year or season, I mean, and then now he had one miss, one bad pass, one bad pass for Alvarez as a defensive yeah, midfielder was, being was, everywhere. Yeah, he was huge. And I think also, look, um, of course, we always um, also because we do this all the time, uh, we have to give ratings to our players and give them also a man of the match. But in general, looking at everyone, I think everyone really played well today. True. Neres was amazing today. Some glimpses of his old self um, was influential for uh, influential in the attacking, especially with his assist. I mean, Anthony could have finished his uh, with the beautiful pass from Tayafico, man, in the first half to Neres, and then Neres to Anthony. That should have been a goal, but Anthony tries it with his stronger foot. But it wasn't the best choice at the moment. I really think if he took it with his other leg, it would have been a goal. And the goal from Tadic, man, you, you saw it in the replay. He went short corner, but it was tight. Look, he look did let, really let, well me, let me describe Tadic very quickly, right? The sun is yellow. The snow is white. Every game, Tadic scores or gives an assist. It doesn't matter. It's always there, right? Always. And I must oh, say, it's important with his goal, right? Yeah. No, but seriously, he always gives an assist or a goal in every match. It doesn't matter if, whether it's Europa League, uh, Champions League, uh, Dutch Cup, uh, Eredivisie. It doesn't matter. He, this no, guy is so uh, influential. Very creative. Uh, very important for Ajax. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we say this every week, but he's always involved. And uh, even the goal from Klaas, that was um, a one-two with him. Started from Neres, but then it get to Klasa and Klasa with the one-two with Tadic. And then got lucky to Klasa and Klasa finished it well. So, yeah, a very With his weaker foot. Uh, with his weaker foot. It was good. Also, yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't a hard uh, finish, but he finished it. Like, uh, we had three, four, five chances before and nobody did. So, you have to, uh, you have to um, appreciate that very much from Klasa. Yeah. So, any other, any other players you want to highlight uh, other than uh, the ones you mentioned already? Uh, for me, Gravenberg was amazing today. Um, he didn't do everything perfect. I'm not going to say he did everything perfect, but he had glimpses of just greatness in his passing, in his dribbling, in 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 getting from under the pressure and um, the amount of uh, 
the amount run, the the distances ran that he ran today was just incredible. So, yeah, you got to just, it's a young guy, man. We should be talking about somebody that's not even 20 yet. So um, one more thing, one more take from my side. Maybe you agree or disagree. I thought today we saw glimpses of the old Tayafico. It was his best match so far, yeah. And he was also directly involved, I think, in the Tadic goal, right? Because he he took, he um, he captured yes, the ball in the midfield yeah. and then went for the shot and then it came uh, to Tadic. So, no, he was very pivotal uh, today also with his uh, forward runs, but also his defensive uh, duties. Uh, very good, very solid. He got a yellow card, but I don't, I didn't think it was a yellow card. Um, but I must say this was what, one of the best refs we had during a, a Europa League uh, match. Um, just overall, you can be happy, man. Even Stakelenburg didn't have to do much, but I gave him a six because, because he didn't have much to do. But the, the calmness and, and just the leadership, you know, of being, knowing what to do in difficult circumstances or being calm at the moment that they're pressuring you, very important for Ajax to have such a keeper also. Okay. And that's our second keeper. Yeah, exactly. I mean, again, like you said, the depth, the depth of this squad is amazing. Look, I just want to finalize this uh, this talk uh, by asking you this question because I think uh, quarterfinals is really waiting for us. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm not underestimating the team. I'm just saying, you know, we have 20... 20 I, will, I will say it for you. We're, we're through. I, I cannot okay. see Ajax giving away a 3-0 lead, man. No way. Right. So my final question to you is because um, then we will be in the last eight. And once you're in the last eight, things become, you know, like possible, in my opinion. Do you think this squad, this team, this Ajax team, do you think they're capable of winning the Europa League this season? Honestly? Yes. Yes, I, I do. You know, every match is on its own and even a final is on its own. But there are some teams that just can go nuts against us. Like, for instance, Arsenal and Manchester United, Tottenham, all are very counter-oriented teams. It, it's not teams that are what, what Ajax really loves to play against. So it's going to be another um, Lille game, another Young Boys game. Uh, they're holding, holding, holding. And, you know, with Rashford, Marshall, for instance, at the menu, it can go very fast, you know, in a counter. So, mm -hmm. so why, do you, you say, why do you say yes then? Why do you say yes? Because I do think Ajax has the quality uh, on the ball uh, to create a lot of chances. And we know that uh, we are in a better, our consistency is very good, you know, which what you see with, with the other teams, you know, I follow Arsenal also and Manchester United in the Premier League. It's a very inconsistent uh, in what kind of performance they give. So, uh, I don't see that at Ajax. With Ajax, it's every week pretty strong um, games. So that's why I think the consistency of Ajax can take them to the finals. And uh, yeah, Europa League is a game on its own, you know. Can't compare the competitions anymore. I mean, Ajax is there for a reason. Guys, be sure to like our video, subscribe to our channel, and most importantly, join the discussion in the comments below.